let's talk about how life can be so overwhelming in your 20s because all of a sudden you realize you're no longer the teenager you used to be a couple of years back. Now you have to do a lot of adult stuff and learn to start taking responsibility for yourself at least. It also gets tasking and a lot more challenging when you realize that you have to deal with both self and career growth, make big decisions that concern your success in life, and also learn how best to manage your finances, as you cannot always run to mom and dad anymore for every little thing that you want. I know that sounds like a lot of work indeed. However, if you learn early enough how to make some of the best decisions in life, then life wouldn't be as challenging or scary or even blurry as you thought it would. According to Candace Bushnell, an American author and journalist, happiness comes out of being willing to do your work in your 20s to find out who you are, what you love. So in this video, I'll share with you the 5 important decisions you must make in your 20s. If you're new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Find your path The first step to achieving success in life is to know what exactly you want to do. So, you should have a life goal and a plan to help you accomplish it. So let me ask you, do you know what you want? What drives you the most? What big picture comes to mind whenever you think of yourself in 5 or 10 years to come? It's easier to start a journey as soon as you know your destination, and a lot faster to get to your destination. Only if you knew where you were headed in the first place. It might take a while for you to figure it out at first. But don't be in a hurry to start just anything until you have decided that is what you want. It'll be worth the wait, I promise. Finding your path might be difficult because it is a road that you have never walked, but it is important if you want to be successful. Joseph Campbell, an American professor of literature, said, if the path before you is clear, you're probably on someone else's. The thing about finding your path is that it is a lot of discovery. Discovering what is unique to you because that's the only way you can achieve what you want and that's the only way you can stand out. Look at it this way. Say you want to become an architect today. Well, I'm pretty sure that you know that there are a thousand and one other architects in the world. So why should anyone choose you over the others? What's so unique about you that reflects in your designs and brand overall? If you can find that out, then that's your path. Ram Dass, an American spiritual teacher and psychologist said, don't compare your path with anybody else's. Your path is unique to you. So you might be wondering, how can you find your path? Ruben Chavez, an American entrepreneur, advises, Pay attention to the things you are naturally drawn to. They are often connected to your path, passion, and purpose in life. Have the courage to follow them. So, to discover your path, start by observing yourself, including your likes, dislikes, interests, what you value most, the things that you get irritated about most, etc. This will help you understand yourself better and paint a picture of the kind of life that you desire. 2. Become a financial literate T. Harv Ecker, an American entrepreneur and author, once said, There's a secret to psychology of money. Most people don't know about it. That's why most people never become financially successful. A lack of money is not the problem. It is merely a symptom of what's going on inside of you. You see, the number one problem people have with managing their finance is financial literacy. So, instead of taking the time to learn the language of money and how money works or operates, they spend the rest of their lives chasing after money. Guess what? It's the race that can never be won. They'll only keep chasing. The more money they earn, the more money problems they have, and the more they desire for more money. To solve this problem, however, you need to learn and understand how money works. How can your money be multiplied? How can you increase your money potential? What role do assets and liability play in financial freedom? What do you have to know then to become financially free? When you know these things, you're only one step away from your financial freedom. Learn about investment, saving for retirement, saving for an emergency, etc. Sufficient knowledge in these areas will help you succeed financially in life. 3. Spend more time with successful people who aren't in their 20s. If you spend all or most of your time with people who are your age, you'd hardly learn anything useful to help you become successful because you are all going through the same phase of life. So, they do not have much experience or knowledge to help you. Spending more time with older people who are successful, on the other hand, will help you learn a lot of things, including learning from their mistakes so that you don't make those same mistakes as well. So, it's advisable to be around people who are in their 30s, 40s, or even 50s. They're the ones with the answers, not your friend who's 25 and still trying to figure things out for him or herself. 4. Build your career and become a master in your field. A good time to start paying attention to your career, learning as much as you need to about your field. 
pushing yourself to do the hard work necessary to gain the much needed experience required for success and excellence, etc., is now. Okay, your focus shouldn't be how much money you can make or which job has the highest pay. It should be what career path are you willing to spend the next 10 to 20 years of your life building to become a professional. Money shouldn't be your goal, but a result. Here's the thing. It takes time to build a career. You won't get everything right immediately. You'll make some mistakes that you'll learn from and eventually become better because of it. The earlier you experience these things, the better it is for you as far as your career success is. So, start now. Also, to become successful, it is important to become a master in your field. To do that, you need to put in a lot of work. Jiro Ono, a Japanese chef, said, You must immerse yourself in your work. You have to fall in love with your work. You must dedicate your life to mastering your skill. That's the secret of success. So, whatever field you have chosen, practice and practice until you master that field skills and practices enough to become an expert. 5. Take care of your body. Paying attention to your body and health when you're older, say in your 30s or 40s, is more like trying to redirect a ship. Compare that to redirecting a motorcycle. I'm pretty sure you can tell which is going to be harder. The ship, of course. The truth is that success becomes difficult if you have to struggle between focusing on building your career and fighting to restore your health. You see, it's much easier to get in the habit of exercising and eating right before you've done much damage to yourself, physically, or develop long-standing bad habits. According to Bill Welsh, a radio and television presenter, minimally 30 to 45 minutes of aerobics, 5 to 6 times a week, and some weight training alternative days, your body will thank you forever. Jim Ron, an American entrepreneur, once said, Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live in. So, what are you waiting to do? Get yourself a workout routine and a healthy meal table that can make building a healthy lifestyle a piece of cake for you. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.